Oh, come on, man. Why won't this TV work? Donnie, your TV doesn't work. Mikey, why aren't you in your spacesuit? I want to watch Squirrel Stampede's review of Series 3 of Us. But your TV's broken. Uh, Mikey, that's not my TV. It's not? Then whose is it? It's mine! Ah, I'm never watching TV in my underwear again! Ah! On the table today, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Blocks Series 3. Hey Landry, are kids still into these mystery packs? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I don't know. You tell me. Well, I don't know. You tell me. Well, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. I just don't know. You tell me. Okay, we're done here. On the back of the package, the eight possible figures inside these packs. Who's it gonna be with that one mystery figure? And as always, there is a little imprinted code down the side of each package that may help you find what's inside. We begin with the bag labeled A02. We have started off with Leo in Shadow Black. Can't remember why he's in black again. Was it a video game? What was the deal? We can go along with Mikey in black as well from series two now. It's kind of a cool version of this turtle. But pretty much the same thing, only painted in black with some slight highlights here and there. Leonardo is a blue common figure. Now on to pack A04. We have a Krang disguised as a human but battle damaged. This is a figure I would have liked to have seen in the large normal scale action figures for a long time. It seems really obvious, I'm really surprised they never went with that. It's a real simple figure but it pulls it off pretty well. Looks like a human with a little Krang in the belly print painted on there somehow. Good figure and it is a blue common figure. Package A05. It is Spacesuit Donatello, the figure I most wanted to see. It is a purple rare figure, and it didn't take that long to build. Just kidding, it was a little tricky. Uh, getting the backpack on, getting the shoulder pads on, making sure Donnie's mask was around his eyes without popping off. But once everything's in place, it's a really cool figure. I love the turtle space gear stuff. Looks really cool this time around. You can have him with his helmet on, pop the helmet off, just good looking adaptation to the regular turtle figure. Pack A06. And it would be Leatherhead, possibly a favorite out of the series 3 figures. Good looking minifigure, very green, very gator like. The tail being nice and spiky. Pretty large head on the dude. It's kind of tricky getting it onto the ball joints. The bottom of the ooze canister went flying off. When I went down to look for it on the floor, I could not find it, but somehow in the same area there was a Lego stud. It's different color, but I'm just going to use that right now until I can figure out where the real piece went. That was a bizarre move. Perhaps the ooze turned the Mega Block into Lego. Who knows? Now we're on to the A07 package. A 
Looks like we have found the secret rare figure Triceraton. Didn't see that one coming with the dinosaur-like outline of a figure. Awesome figure though. Very similar to Leatherhead in build with a giant figure-like guy with a tail placed onto the back. Felt like I was building the same thing, only completely different. Uh, but great figure, nice color on the dinosaur parts and the cool space gear of the future. Well, not future, just space. Small ray gun weapon though, that's kind of funny in size. Good overall figure and I guess would probably be another sought after figure in series 3. Now on to A08, pretty small package, so it's either going to be another Krang or most hopefully April. And it is Orange Ultra Rare April. I think this is the first April figure I have picked up, even though she is available in some of the larger packs, I believe. She is in her yellow space gear, which is kind of cool because it's very reminiscent to her classic look. Small laser gun accessory, very fun. Feels sort of Lego Friends in construction a little bit. Most definitely a highly sought after figure for Series 3. Now bumping up the numbers a tad, we are now at A29066MM. I hope it's still in the same set. And we have Secret Rare Red Enraged Raphael. Actually, I'm not sure why he's red. I think I missed that episode. Would someone please clue me in? Or was he like a hologram, like the red original Series 1 Shredder? Oh wait, was this a hologram? I can't remember. Please, someone clue me in on that. Anyhow, we have Red Raph with white weaponry, feels a little spacey. And of course, his classic crack on his shell. Good looking figure. I love looking at all these variations of the turtles. And again, this one is Secret Rare Red. Last package of Series 3, hopefully we found them all. A30. And we finish with a blue common Mikey in Whitey Tidies enjoying pizza. Probably the best out of this whole series for last. That is hilarious. Didn't they do that with SpongeBob too? I'm going to have to look that up. That is too funny. This probably will be sitting on the desk for a while, making me laugh. Another great Mikey figure. They do so well with Mikey. That ends a pretty good Series 3 group of figures. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Block Series 3 appears on store shelves Fall 2016. Another 8 great figures to collect. All of them have something up to offer. Especially Mikey's Donut Pizza. That stuff is delicious. That's what I have to say about that. I could use a slice of that pizza right now. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Ah, I hope that gets him in a spacesuit. I love messing with Mikey. Hey, hey that's my TV! My TV. Ah! <laughs> you have to get up pretty early in the morning on Saturday Cartoon Day to trick young Mikey. What are you doing with my cupcake? Bah! <laughs> Scared you, Mikey. Oh, this bit can go on forever. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Leo? It happened again.